uh, okay, that's that's not good. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Jack. This is Gas Diesel Garage and in today's episode is don't get screwed by the dealer. And if you guys got a 2018 to a 2020 uh, Freightliner Cascadia, you might want to stay tuned. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to link up to the Detroit Diesel uh, section of my diagnostic stuff here. I like to use the OEM stuff instead of J-Pro. That's just me. Okay, we need to see okay. And we'll let that just boot up a second and uh, we'll be right back. Alrighty. It says here that we got three faults. If you can see it right there, we're gonna click on that. And we're gonna see what all that is sometime today all right got a few codes there right here I'm looking at this side radar there's a problem with that and uh, that's what this video is all about is the side radar and why this is messed up This would be your lane departure side radar, right here. It's behind this plastic. You got two of them, actually. You see this wiring harness right here? Well, this wiring harness goes through a piece of metal, which makes no sense, and it rubs up against the, uh, the very, very sharp aluminum. You can actually see it. See my finger there? Very, very poor design, I believe. It's already been replaced, but earlier, this thing was cut like that. But uh, I'm about to reroute that thing a better way. Here's a better look at what those radars look at. Got two, one, two. And if you look down through here, see how it goes right through the metal? and rests right there on the sharp edge. Not a very good design. Not at all. Either way, it's bad. Now there was a mechanic from the prior ship that actually replaced that wiring harness already. So uh, unfortunately I can't show you that. But what I'm going to show you is that you need to calibrate that radar after you replace that wiring harness. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now to calibrate this side radar, it has to be driven. So grab yourself a CDL uh, driver and uh, let's go on our way. In case you're wondering, I, I do have a license for a commercial driver's license. So uh, yeah. And we're back on the computer, all fired up. We're going to go up here to actions and we're going to go over here to the Detroit Assurance if you see that right there see this right here side radar calibration let's click on that all right remember what I was telling you this procedure is used to calibrate the side radar unit this is a dynamic calibration requiring a test of 50 to 20 minutes on the road with regular traffic so uh, let's get going and then I'm gonna press the start button if 
If you guys are wondering why your adaptive cruise control is unavailable, it's because anything that goes bad with the side radars, the front camera, uh, the ABS sensors, any of that, if any of that stuff is bad, then you're gonna have that adaptive cruise control unavailable. So uh, as soon as we calibrate this thing, all that should go away, all that. And when you're doing this calibration test, go on the interstate because you're not gonna wanna do this stop and go traffic stuff because it will screw it up. All right, now that we're rolling, let's go ahead and press start on this. I don't recommend doing this. All right, press start. have no more of those lights on in the dash remember the adapter cruise control and the side radar and the ABS lights good deal this thing is calibrated and for you drivers out there or owner operators I got good news for you did you know that your truck is equipped with an onboard diagnostic system where you can find out all the codes to every single computer on your truck let me show you see these nice fancy buttons well we're going to use these buttons to go through our diagnostic system which is displayed right here now we're going to press the right arrow and go all the way to the wrench then we're going to go down you can see your engine maintenance hours it shows it's got no codes but let's go down to the actual ecus themselves I want that. All right. Here's all your ECUs. MCM, MCI, just kidding. All the ECUs that monitor everything, like your ABS. Let's look at the ABS and see if there's any codes for that. All right. No faults detected. That's good stuff. And then let's just go down to a couple more that you might use. Let's go down, let's go down to the TPMS. That's a good one. TPMS. No faults detected. That's good stuff too. And you got your VDRU, which we were messing with today. And software update, yeah, good luck. If you can find a good Wi-Fi connection, maybe you might be able to get that. Um, but all the things that you can check out before you go to the dealer and get screwed. Well, if you found this video informational and helpful, please, I urge you, like, subscribe, and share this video, and uh, we'll just have to see you next time. Peace.